There's a common misconception that when you go vegan, you have to miss out on your cultural dishes, but I've taken it as my biggest source of inspiration instead and tried to veganize as many recipes from my childhood as possible. So I did a full day of eating just vegan Japanese food, starting off with some miso soup for breakfast that I'd prepped the night before. I made it in this gorgeous Japanese made pink pot. And then for lunch, I kept it pretty simple. I ate some leftovers that I had made from my cookbook that will be coming out soon. It's a Japanese curry. And I also served that with some steam roasted kabocha squash. It probably took me about 10 minutes just to throw together, which is perfect for me for lunch. As a little snack before dinner, I ate some of the leftovers of a recipe that I worked on this day, which was a matcha granita. It just so happened to fit the theme of Japanese dishes with the matcha, so I thought I'd throw it in. And then for dinner, I kept it even simpler. I made a quick little salad with some ginger dressing and a no-cook cold tofu dish. You can watch the full video on YouTube.